Let's talk a little more in detail about Boolean logic. Boolean logic is the way of thinking that computers have. It's what I like to call the cop logic. Everything is either yes or no, and there's nothing in between, and there's nothing else than yes or no. If you get arrested and you get taken downtown, you answer yes or no to everything, okay? You don't give them more information than they need. Well, Boolean logic is similar to that. Everything is either a yes or a no. And these are called true and false in Boolean. There's a lot of equivalents, you know, some systems use yes and no, uh, but traditionally systems in Boolean logic, they use true and false. Basically, the logic of this thing is that you have a condition, and that condition can either be true or false. For example, I can give you this car, and I can say, is the car orange? And of course, in this case, the response is true. It doesn't say, well, the car looks kind of red, or it looks kind of uh, pink, or, or whatever, or that's uh, a shade that's off orange. No, it's true or false. Either the car is orange, or the car isn't orange. Is this car blue? Well, the car is not blue, so the answer is false. That's Boolean logic. You have a condition, is the car a certain color, and you have an answer or a result which is true or false. Let's see it apply to real numbers. I have a value of 5 in this cell and a value of 7 in this cell. And I'm going to set up this Boolean operation. As you can see, it starts with an equal. That means that it's a function. And this right here, is what's called a comparison operator. I mean, you know it as a greater than. It's a regular mathematical symbol, only that Excel understands this as a question. What I'm asking Excel is, is H7 greater than 7? In other words, is 5 greater than 7? That's what I'm asking Excel. And Excel, of course, is saying false. Okay, 5 is not greater than 7. In this other case here, what I'm asking Excel is, is the value in H8, which is this blue cell, greater than the value in I8, which is this red cell? And what does Excel reply in Boolean logic? It's true. 7 is greater than 5. Now, if they're equal, if I change this one to a 5, Excel is going to reply false, because this value is not greater than this value. That's one thing you have to take into consideration always when you're working greater than or less than. Excel takes those literally. So for something to be true, a value has to be absolutely greater than another number. It can't be equal. If it's equal, the result is false because both values are equal. One value is not greater than the other one. But if, for example, I say 5.001, that's a bit of fraction greater than 5, and Excel is going to reply true. The value is greater than that. Okay, as I said a few seconds ago, there are several Boolean operators that you can use in your Excel functions. And don't be scared by the name Boolean operators. It sounds weird, but they're actually just regular old functions. Imagine that these things are regular old functions that you can simply apply to your numbers or values in Excel. We have the equal sign, which means is what's on the left identical to what's on the right. Note that this is an operator. In other words, you have to have a value on the left and a value on the right. Don't get confused by this equal and the equal that you normally use to start a function. They're both the same character, but they have different meanings. When you put this completely on the left, when you start what you're writing with this, you're telling Excel, I'm about to write a function. When this is between two values, what you're telling Excel is, I want you to compare what's on the left and tell me if it's identical to what's on the right. Okay, an example of this, well, I have this formula. Notice this starts by telling Excel that this is a function. Okay, this is not a Boolean operator. The Boolean operator is this one. See, it's got a value, which is Excel on the left, and a value, which is Excel on the right. And what I'm asking Excel is, is this value identical to this value? And what does Excel reply? Yes, they're both identical. In other words, true. Now look at this other case where I added an X here. 
that's not here. When I ask Excel, is this one identical to this one? The answer is false because there's no identical characters between them both. There's an X here that's not here. Okay, that's a comparison operator. And note that in Excel, there's something interesting. If I do that, both values are identical, it's true. Now, if I do this and capitalize the first letter, Excel is going to say it's also true. In other words, for Excel, it doesn't make any difference if it's an uppercase letter or a lowercase letter. They're both identical. As long as the letters match, they're identical. Now, this is um, greater than or less than. And notice that I'm saying greater than slash less than. In other words, the operator is either that one or that one. That's because when I write it out like this, many people get confused and they think that the operator is uh, this one. Actually, that's not the operator for greater than or less than. This operator is called not equal to, and it's exactly the same as equal, or rather the opposite of equal. So for example, if I do this and I say Excel, and I put those little symbols right there, what Excel is going to do is, is this one not equal to this one? The answer is false because they're both identical. And in this case, when they were not identical, of course, if I ask Excel, are these identical? It's going to say false. But if I ask it, are they different or are they not equal? Then it's true. See? So don't get this confused. Don't get this mixed up. This is the less than operator. This is the greater than operator. And when you put them one next to the other, that's called not equal to. Okay, so these work. You know what's on the left greater than or less than what's on the right. And like I said before, if both values are equal, this returns false. Because equal does not mean greater than or less than. Now, if you want to test to see if something is greater than or equal to, then you have to use this one. You see, it's the greater than symbol or the less than symbol immediately followed by an equal. So what Excel does is it says if the value on the left is greater than or if it's equal to the value on the right, it's going to return true. And for example, to take my previous example, I say 5. Is 5 less than or equal to 5? Now, it's not less than 5, but it's going to be equal to 5. And the result, of course, is true. So these are another pair of interesting operators to have in mind. Okay, and these three operators are kind of more difficult to grasp. You really have to grasp uh, Boolean logic in order to understand precisely what these does. But when you use the AND operator, in other words, if I say 5 equals 5 AND, 10 equals 10, what Excel is going to do is, if all of those conditions are true, the result is going to be true. When you're using the AND operator, it's just like if I told you, you have to go to the store and you have to go to the dentist. The AND means you have to do both of them. And if you don't do both of them, it's false. You didn't complete the task. Whereas if I tell you, you have to go to the store or you have to go to the dentist, you can do either one of those and you'll have completed my directive. In other words, if I say 5 equals to 5 or 10 equals to 5, one of those conditions is going to be false because obviously 10 does not equal 5. But 5 does equal 5, and since one of those is true, the result is going to be true. And when you're doing not, well, what it does is invert the existing condition. In other words, if the result of the operation you're doing is true, it's going to switch it to false. And if the result is false, of course, it's going to switch it to true. So let me show you how not works. Well, here we have false. And if I say not H25, the value of H25 is false. So the result of this function of the not function is true because what it does is invert the value. Now, let me show you another case here. Now, not 
5 equals 5. The first thing that Excel is going to do is it's going to compare is 5 equal to 5. That's true. But since on top of that I have a not function, I'm telling it this is true, but you're going to apply not to it. So you're going to get the result false. And in this other case, it's exactly the opposite. 5 equals to 1 is false, but since it's inside the not function, you're going to get true. So that's how Boolean logic work, and that's how these operators work. Now, why do we need to know Boolean operators? Because there's a function in Excel that's one of the basic functions that's called if. And the if function, you use it to compare different values and to get Excel to reply different things if the condition is met or not met. And that's precisely what Boolean logic is used for. The if function evaluates if something is true or false and reacts accordingly. So you need to understand these operators in order to use the if function appropriately. And, and, or, and not are also functions in Excel that you can use inside your if. So you can test for one condition and if another condition is true, you can have Excel return a certain value. Or if at least one condition is true, you can use the, the OR condition. And if one of those is true, Excel is going to react a certain way. So that's what Boolean logic and Boolean operators are used for. They're used for comparing things to one another. And they're especially important when you start using the IF function in Excel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, cubicleoverlords.com, for more instructional videos like this one.